Welcome to this Six Nations video supported by Lifting Giants. Marcus Smith is out. Confirmed calf injury. Don't know how bad it is. I don't think it's terrible, but it is a big blow for England in this game against Italy because that's a few big injuries now. Players out of this game. Smith is out. Ollie Lawrence is out and in the back line. Those are two guys I think definitely would have started. George Martin is out and I think he'd have been in the 23 as well. So England suffering from a few injuries here, but with injuries comes opportunities. So let's talk about the England team I'm hoping for, the kind of checklist I'm looking for tomorrow, Thursday, later on in the day. And let me know which players you are watching out for as well. A couple of other things to get involved with, with the Rugby Analyst channel. We've got the fantasy rugby game. That's good fun. The first uh, league of 100 filled up pretty quick. So I've got four other fantasy leagues leagues there below click on one of those get involved beat me i'm in every league i'm sure you can do that and also there's a cool giveaway by the artist blair skivington who does all the rugby artwork behind me check out his shop in the description you can pick anything from there if you win the giveaway simply click on the competition link enter your name there enter your email and i'll do a draw probably in the fallow week the first fallow week so yeah please subscribe like the video enter the competition for the giveaway enter the fantasy team loads going on so let's get into it. What am I looking for in an England team tomorrow? Well, front row wise, in fact, pack wise, I want scrum first. Absolutely scrum first. Also, we need lots of line out options. That set piece has to be good for England. It was decent in the World Cup. It was one of the reasons they got so far and it needs to be again. So really, I'm looking for uh, Joe Marler to start at loose head. And if not Marler, probably a Barno. I'd love to see Ellis Genge off the bench. I do think it's going to be the best combo. So Marla to start would make me happy with Genge on the bench. Obviously, George is going to start and Dan on the bench. We know that's the case. Dan Cole, I think he has to start. Scrum first with Marla and Cole. Stewart's okay at scrummaging. Hayes has got better, but I am a little bit worried about both of those guys. I think Cole has to be the man. Marla and Cole with George in the middle. I think safety first, scrum first is the way to go. We learned that once again in the World Cup. Second row wise, yeah, we've been a bit decimated. Ezekwe had come in for the injured Martin. Ezekwe is now out and they've gone back to Charlie Yule's. Had a couple of comments about that. So what would make me happy is the three form second rows, Chesham, Alex Coles and Atoje. The three best second rows are involved in that 23. Probably Atoje starting with Chesham, Coles on the bench. If Coles missed out of the 23, I would be very disappointed. In the back row, I want a proper blindside flanker. And when I say proper, I don't mean one of those second rows on the flank like Chesham or Alex Coles, but someone who's an actual flanker, who's a big ball carrier, moves like a flanker, but you can use in the line out very well as well. The guy who fits all those criteria the best is Chandler Cunningham South. I know he hasn't got any experience, but he is the guy who fits all those criteria. Second best, I think, is Tom Pearson. So if not Cunningham South, then I'd like Pearson. If it's anyone else, I'm going to be disappointed. And then at seven, I think we've got some good options. Underhill, I'll be very happy with Pearson as well. Uh, but the other thing I really need to see is Ben Earl at eight. He was so explosive in the World Cup. Absolutely earned his spot there. So pack-wise, that's what I'm looking for. That's what's going to make me happy. And let's quickly talk about the sponsor for my Six Nations videos, Lifting Giants. If you saw my interview with the inventor, Luke, it's revolutionary. The only ergonomic, scientifically tested lifting block out there. Pretty much the only proper lifting block, actually. And if you want a 10% discount for the duration only of this six nations you can do it through the website links below into the backs at nine what's going to make me happy well it's got to be alex mitchell if anyone else starts i would be a little bit miffed with that i don't think it will happen but goodness me wouldn't it be good if spencer ben spencer made the bench he so deserves it for his form if care was there as well i'd be absolutely fine with that you know he's in decent form but spencer's been so good for so long crazy unlucky not to go to the world cup so mitchell starting spencer would be perfect but i'm happy kind of anyway with those nines as long as mitchell starts and 10 marcus smith there you know i wanted him to start and i think he would have started such a shame he's playing the best he's ever played but like i said opportunity presents itself and i know ford would be the obvious replacement but Italy is the game, no disrespect, where you do try a few things. I think this is perfect to start Finn Smith and say, go for it. Because this season for Northampton, he has proved he has everything needed for international rugby. His kicking is probably the best of the three. The range on his goal kicking 
is phenomenal, the best of the three, I would say. And at a young age, he's already kicking the corners, playing the tactical kicking game very naturally. Great pass, good running game, very brave in the tackle. You know, he hasn't got the experience, but as an all-rounder, I think he's as good as any of the three there. Marcus Smith had to kind of learn his trade. He would just run it from everywhere and try some stuff that wasn't really on in international rugby. But Finn Smith, I don't think would do that. I think he would slot straight in there. So I think take the chance. Ford's kind of been a bit injured recently anyway. Finn Smith to start, that would make me very happy indeed. Centres is tricky. We've been a bit decimated with centres. But I think Dingwall and Slade is the only two that make sense to me. Dingwall, fantastically organised 12. It's not going to let you down. Slade's got all the skills. I mean, rugby, brains-wise, skills-wise, it's a fantastic midfield. For out and out pace, power and size, probably not. But goodness me, they could tie a team together very nicely. And then on the wings, what I don't want to see is just a kick-chase team. If Elliot Daly pops up on the wings... It's going to be a big kick chase day because he's not the form winger. No, a decent player who's had a lot of experience, but Freeman has to be on one wing. If he's not on one wing or at 13, I'd be incredibly disappointed. And it's just the perfect time to start Faye Wabusu, Emmanuel Faye Wabusu. Why not? I mean, Italy are a good team, but they are the team to try a few new things with. So Finn Smith starting, Faye Wabusu starting. It makes sense. I don't think there's any other wingers there crying out to be picked, to be honest, um, over Faye Wabusu. So get the youngster on there. Finn Smith, Faye Wabusu, uncapped players starting. And George Furbank is the Form 15, no doubt. In fact, Northampton deserve having a lot of players in this England team. If there's not a lot of Northampton players, you know, you're not picking on form. I don't think it's going to happen. But if Furbank did start 15, it would definitely make sense picking on form there. I'd have Stewart on the bench as well, actually, as a bit of a backup. You could have Furbank as a backup 10, but that's what would make me happy. This is the sort of England team I would love to see. If it is close to this, yeah, it'd be okay. But if we get any deviation, if we get a second row at six, for example, I'll be disappointed. A daily on the wing, I'll be disappointed. No, it could be a slow England team or it could be quite an exciting England team with players well suited to their positions like this. Let me know what you guys would like to see from England. Pop it down below. We look forward to see what they come up with on Thursday. Anyway, guys, let me know your thoughts and I'll catch you next time.